so last thing uh, last screen cast i already discussed uh, about the the possibilities the technologies and concept how we can consume the web services restful web services to with with the spring boot time team lib template engine so then now, now we need to uh, to develop those those part of the development so very very fast you need to to import you need to import or you have to build your project fast so there is a, many ways to 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 generate your project and then you try to integrate those project with your respective ide for for ide case you can for my case and normally i i like to use the at least ide this is a very good tools as a free and even though you can go with the intellij ide uh, that there is a two version is a community edition version and then there is enterprise versions depending on the u developments and for this case and even though you can go to put yeah, so in the in in my clips how you can generate the projects you go to the files and the new and and here is the spring starter projects so just here is as, as it is you, you put it your your project names like i put it here the project name like um uh, here and then there is a project there and then here the artificial name and blah 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 and so let's see who have produced that we already produced those 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 projects and i will give and give it to like uh, like um, oops so that means this is the default package and then you can set it here and then the, the, the put it the, some descriptions and here is the main part of this so um, for the project uh, building part i use here maven you can go with the gradle also and this is the packaging most important part you can package it like where and jar files and executable jar files and you can fix it from here java versions and the language of the and you can go java groovy or kotlin this is the language and part and then you can go there and then you select your dependency here even though you can go far away this the versions and you need to you don't need to jpa and you need to develop and then you need to post gaze and you need jdbc you don't need it to jdbc and you need the, only the time lift template engine extra for because you you just consuming the rest services nothing to do with your database that's that's the the part of the that's how you're consuming the web services and then the, the web service deployment machine will handle all of them because the other machine has a database and web service calling those database and you are calling the uh, the web service from different machines and i will show you detail how is it done this this way so this is then if you if you inject all necessary dependency you need actuator for 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 looking for the your application status your metrics informations health information of applications and these devop tools that means you automatically compile your source code and run the applications that's the the this is the dependency did automatically the and time lift template engine because we are using template engine and you have different template engine if you like to use the template engine like from the from the groovy template engine and free marker and depending what template engine because the, this i found is time time lift is the most nowadays the most popular template engine you can do very quickly so you finish it and it's, it's automatically import the project into the in the at least ide or you can go this way uh, in the go to the web page and there's a page called spring initializer is ex exactly same as the and at least ide you can put it your 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 what type of project it is and it generate maven projects and select their versions and uh, select your language and versions and put it your your uh, artificial id uh, group id and then artificial name and then you can select it here like and then it's 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 done and then it's this done and go there and even though you can search it which uh, dependency injection you need then uh, that we need the uh, web dependency and uh, even though you can go to the down level so this is the dependency we need those projects we don't need any database dependency <clears throat> and then we need the actuator uh, the actuator and you generate hit the projects and it's 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 uh, it's generate the your your zip files and you have to unzip to your local directory and then after that you have to be uh, import this project into the IntelliJ id IntelliJ id or, or at least id whatever it is you like to use the the ide so 
so the our project generation is done so then now we need to we need to we need to configure our our oh, very fast I try to configure our application. So when you import your applications, then you can see the 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 the, the project structure is automatically generate the uh, this this main methods class and let's see let's have start. So that's what we said uh, this is the consuming the consuming our REST APIs, uh, deployed REST APIs in the, any part in the world the, the service has to be called by the our applications so this is the most important part if you look at here i have i have in total um five environments so it's the same environment so uh, same proper application that properties file so you see that our application will be run with 7067 port and the application name this this and then this has to be and this is the our local machine deployment so the application is deployed or run based on my local machines and here is the database so it's a default database from a spring boot uh, because we didn't need to any special database to set here to 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 connect with this application because we are consuming this database so we have http 2 and it's console bill and this is the default http user and password and then driver names and now this is the part of the of the messaging uh, i18 n uh, because the multi-language support and this is the 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 encode encoding utf encoding and this is the timely caching this is the the, term, the logging information and this is the most one most most important part so this is the base url the visual where your web service uh, web services are deployed so that means for my case is deployed in the my machines and it's the machine has a different port number so you see the 5067 and then there is a the url path and the default path and this is the part of the uh, of the of the con uh, the url con url call so this is the most important part if you have a if you have a web page as like amazon or google or, or ebay if you one web you see the one web page has maybe 10 or 20 web services call that means in the in the in the, in the same page you, you are calling the 10 10 url or 10 web services from different machine or different part of the world so that means you have to be put all the url the path what you need to try to consume the services from the from the from the from the third party so from our, for our case we did, we released our with, with the we release our apis we try to now consume or integrate those api to build our web pages so this that's the that's the most important but you need to be take care of this one so this is the 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 key and this is the value so that means if you have a 10 url call 10 web service call it has to be 10 url properties has to be set here and this is the properties you are externally deploy externally configure you can do it so this is the same thing for application to properties and then this is the uh, if you trying to is the same same information if you're trying to deploy the application in the production or production or development on qa quality assurance or uh, and then real release or test into department test environments as like if you are the really small company not the the big company the big company has own in the installation department or it department if you are working with a small company then your job has to be to deploy the applications to the all respective environments so you finally what you did just you you build your jar files uh, you build your executable jar files and and copy it uh, into the this jar file and run this jar file and um, in, into the respective uh, respective uh, respective environment so what i have it it's like here so you see that the we release our our jar files uh, the our our restful apis with the with the my last screencast and now we try to 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 consume 
we, we need to first to run these jar files uh, to to run the the web services to deploy this web service or i mean that to, to execute the web services and then you can call it from the those those services uh, with the with the with our web application so here is the final output you see that our web application is in fact executable jar files and and then you you need to you need to run the these jar files and then then application communicate with your your 